on to box number two and this is a i know what it is but i don't know what's inside this is going to come this is for um the company i work with lure net fishing and this should be a creek and fishing kit and they're going to change it every two months they're going to have a new kit so it's going to be exciting to see what comes in it and here it is the bait and school bag that you can get in this plastic bag this is a second they did one for november december that was the first one ever come out this one's going to be january february so the lures are in here are going to be kind of geared towards what you can for using during this time now it's a tough time to be creek fishing but you can still go out there and bank fish and river fish or uh, you know bank fish off the lake or something like that so let's go through the lures and see what they got because i'm i'm really curious to see what's in here first off it's going to give you a discount code to use at their website to go buy more stuff um it's got uh, some drawings how you can use different stick baits uh i know there was a stick bait in there and it's got um, a breakdown and of every lure that's in here what it is what the color it is there's several custom colors Ooh, i may be using these tomorrow i'm gonna go fish in the river tomorrow i may be using these lures i may use all these lures because um i'm gonna it tells you a little bit about like where to use them how to use them uh what the color is there's one two three four four lures in here oh Four lures in here that are um, like one of a kind, custom colors, only having it, only can get it from this bag. So if that's something you're into, that's a it's kind of a cool little extra thing. So let's just go through them. Here we go. All right. First off, I'll just I'll pick them out as we'll go through them in the book. Custom color right here. This is the Cotton Cordell Super Spot and Sriracha Craw. Red's been working really good. I, I've, used, I've seen a lot of people using it, and I know it's a good for the uh, winter and spring. I don't use this lure a lot, but I might throw it tomorrow in the river. We have, this is also a custom color. It's a, I like the size of this thing. Stickleback Shad, Cotton Cordell Big O. Um, I might throw this tomorrow too. It's it's kind of small, but that's a perfect creek size. Um, I'm gonna go to a big river plan on fishing tomorrow. This is another crankbait, which is pretty similar. It's Chrome Pumpkin Seed. Oh, that is a cool looking color. It's another tiny, you know, small lure for a crankbait, but that's a that's a decent deep one. Dude, that, that thing stands out. It's got some, or man, it's got all kinds of colors. Orange, yellow, red spots, got a green up top. That is a very, very cool uh, design and color on it. And that's also, like I said, just a one of a kind. You can only get it right here. We got uh, some, the Roadrunner Original Marabou. It's in Chartreuse, you know. No explanation really for that. It's a little uh, Roadrunner, a little underspin on it. This is something I've been using a lot, and I know it works really good. And this is something I would actually have really good confidence in if I was going creek fishing uh, right now in the winter, which my creek right here, here, actually, some of them are froze over. But um, I will be using this, and this little baby boo jig. I've been using some of these. And this one is in the green pumpkin, and I've been putting a crawl chunk. What did they give? Did they give a, it didn't give a trailer, but the next thing you can use for a trailer, I like using the crawl chunk trailer. Um, this is in a 516, so pretty light ounce. I throw this on a medium spinning rod, and like you don't really have to have anything heavy. We do give you these right here. So these are the Yum Ned crawls in brown and orange. And um, I like, I have caught fish off these and use these, a little, little crawl. So you could probably use this for the trailer if you wanted to, which I may do. Or you can put them on, they come with jig heads. I like how they provided the jig heads for it. This is, um, what size are these? These are one eighth ounce jig head. This is about as heavy as I like to go. I don't like going a lot heavier. So one eighth ounce um, jig head with the weed guard on it. You can pair it up right there. We have some young five inch finesse worms. Gilly suit is the color on that and I don't use finesse worms a lot, but I, I know guys that use it a ton. So it's the next thing that I'm gonna show you is probably is something that if you watch my channel, you know I use a lot. And um, this is, I'm really excited because this is a custom color, a four inch yum dinger. It's in a GB haze. When, anytime bass are somewhat shallow in lakes, ponds and creeks, where near shallow covering, 
it's very why it's irresistible falling action very easy to fish yes these things that's why i like using this four inch size and just using yum dingers very easy to fish um this says how it says texas rig with or without a small weight or wacky rig yep i like to texas rig it sometimes with a little jig head sometimes without gb hayes it's it's almost translucent it's got some blue specks in it i'm definitely trying these these are all i'm excited about this kit because these are all lures that i would use oh and i didn't see this there was another pack of jig heads in one twelfth ounce this is more my style uh like that one i love that one twelfth ounce size so we got jig heads we lose a few a couple more stickers some stuff to use this is a cool little kit so they're gonna be doing this every um two months and it's gonna change every time i'm really excited to looking forward to the spring one so next this is january february the next one will be March and April so I'm really excited to see what they come out with with March and April and what they put in there and then in the summer what are they gonna throw in there for little creeks but um, this is obviously like a winter style but you could use these lures anywhere if you buy this pack and save it to spring that's not gonna hurt you at all so they're only gonna do a limited amount I think 300 of those so if you're interested in that I'll have the information on that in the links below you can go and uh, grab you one well let me show you these things my dad found at a flea market yard sale something and i might put them might put one or two of them up behind me they're they're metal pitchers but this first one here is a uh, got a rainbow trout there with a little fly in its mouth jumping up out of the water i do catch some rainbow trout this more, looks more like a lake fishing or something but looks very very detailed looks very cool Ooh, i like this one is more my style i'd say and it's crappie We've got a couple of crappie. I'll, I can take this plastic off. It won't be so shiny. But we got a couple of crappie in there under a log. And there's a little bluegill up there. Uh, there's a little grub down here that's been caught in the um, on a log from somebody. Somebody broke, broke off. I like the little extra detail there. This one, I've only caught a few. But it's more of a northern people thing, I think. Walleye um, on a crankbait. But that's a big walleye. The, like the detail in the teeth and stuff is very cool. There's a few more back there over these rocks, probably like in a deep lake, looks like. And then this one is just has nothing to do with fishing, but it's more has to do with me. And a little old Mountain Dew sign. Mountain Dew will do it for you. Um, I wonder what year that's from. It's kind of cool. We've got the old stuff there. So I may put one of these up behind me here. Or hang up a couple things. I've been getting a lot of stuff people want me to hang up here, but I don't want to have it too cluttered up. But who knows? I might stick a few more of those up or just hang around my, you know, office area here and just look at it. All right. Thanks for watching.